Hey everybody, Mulkey Films here. This is our video series on how to upgrade the HP All-in-One PC. This is an MV23 model, uh, touch smart or touch screen All-in-One PC. We're going to make a couple upgrades to it, so if you're interested or if you have one of these computers and you want to make these upgrades yourself, be sure to click subscribe and be sure to check out our other videos as we talk about this computer. Okay, now you can see it's flipped over. And to get to uh, the back side of it, there's it's pretty easy. There's about three screws. There's one here in this corner. Let me turn you. There's one here in this corner. And then there's another one right here behind this panel. So first thing you want to do is open up this panel. This one comes off pretty easy on this computer. Um, you just put your finger back there and then pull up. And then there it goes. And there's your screw right there in the middle. Uh, these four screws are for a visa mount if you ever wanted to mount it uh, on like an arm type mount. So we're going to go ahead and take the screws out. Okay, and then once your screws are loose Carefully, just pull pull up on it, and the whole thing will kind of come apart. There you go. And I like to lift it up just like that. There's a couple of hinges on the top there. And there you go. Now you can see uh, the guts, the inside of the computer. And this is where you replace your CMOS battery. Let's go ahead and take this panel off. All right, now that we have the case open, you take off the same panel you used to get to the RAM. And this is where your CMOS battery is. So, let's see if I can zoom us in real quick. You can actually see it just sticking out right there. There's your CMOS battery. So to replace it, um, just push back on that, pull it out, and that's it. Alright, now when you're finally ready to put it back together, there's, there's definitely a trick to it. What you want to do is just like when you took it off, you want to bring it in um, at an angle and then put it down and then kind of angle it down like that. So first thing I'd like to do is come to the top corner and make sure all those hooks grab where they're supposed to and then you can even push down on them. You'll hear them click. There's one. Yep, there's another. And then keep doing that as you push down and you'll get it right back where it should be. And then once you're happy with it, go ahead and start tightening down your screws. I like to do the center one first. And I don't put it all the way tight right away. Just so I can get a chance to tighten down the other ones. Okay. And, oh, this one isn't quite there. Hang on. Okay. Yep, there it goes. You can hear that click when it clicks into place. There we go. Left side. There we go. You can hear it clicking as it's going into place. And then I like to run my fingers around the corner just to make sure this is all joined together again. I'll go ahead and tighten up the middle one. There we go. And then don't forget your plastic cover. And it just goes on just like that. All right. There you go. Now you have it. It's all back together. Thanks for watching. This has been Mulkey Films. If you like this video, be sure to click subscribe and check out our other videos on this computer. Thanks!